Dear Mr. Garfield, I'd like to congratulate you on your ongoing success in the gaming industry. Many people would have retired after creating such a massive success as Magic the Gathering. However, you've gone on to design further hits such as your King Trilogy, King of Tokyo, King of New York and of course King Domino. It's these games that I'm writing to you about. As you're no doubt aware, up until recently my hometown of Huddersfield, England has been criminally overlooked as a theme for board games. Places like Puerto Rico, Lisboa and Carcassonne have all got their own titles. However, the closest Huddersfield has ever reached is a brief mention on the board of the 2006 Ragnar Brothers game, Canal Mania. However, all this is changing. Due to a strong grassroots movement, there's been a significant surge in interest in games about Huddersfield. Prominent names in the industry such as Martin Wallace, Jamie Stegmeyer, and Matt Leacock are all working on games set in the town. And Stephen Bonacore from Stronghold Games is very excited about a retheme of terraforming Mars to terraforming Huddersfield. Now I quote: "I can't imagine that every gamer would not want to terraform Huddersfield. I'm on it." Now I'm sure this may have already occurred to you, so I apologise if I'm teaching my grandfather to slap knees. But how about a King of Huddersfield game? Now I know what you're thinking. Sure, that would obviously be a massive commercial success. However, Huddersfield is primarily known for its cloth manufacturing industry and also for being the birthplace of Zoe Looker, who played Tanya Turner in the 2002 ITV television drama Footballers Wives. It's not known for huge monsters that battle each other. And yes, all that's true. However, I think with a bit of perseverance we can definitely find some monstrous antagonists for a King of Huddersfield game. For example, while we don't have any giant apes or cyber bunnies rampaging through the town, we do have quite a nasty feral chicken problem. Additionally, the horse in the field just off Wellgate Lane is notorious for assaulting passers-by and attempting to eat their clothing. Only last week it took quite a sizeable chunk out of the hem of my cardigan. Uh, uh, you swine! Get off! Get, get off! I was lucky, as only a few inches lower down and it would have taken my zipper off. In any case, I'm sure we'll be able to sort out the finer details during the development process. I think you'll agree there's a lot of potential here and we may well have the next big hit on our hands. I look forward to hearing from you. Dan Hughes, Noble Order of Huddersfield Board Games. Dear Mr. Hughes, Thank you for reaching out to me. I will see what I can do about working Huddersfield into one of my games. Stephen Bonacore of Stronghold Games is doing a game with me that has a vampire theme. Does Huddersfield have any history with vampires or vampiric legends? As you probably know from my viewer, I am a stickler for accuracy and would not like to choose a setting that doesn't resonate with my topic. I still regret the decision to set Rocketville in Rocketville rather than the city the game was designed for, Seoul. I may be one of the first of your illustrious set of designers that answers your call for a game with Keyforge. As you may know, Keyforge is a unique deck game meaning each deck is unique and has its own name. I was browsing Selene, stochastic, exotic, list-exploiting name engine, which was a prototype for the name generation that was eventually used. As you can see from the screenshot below, there was a deck, Statfijak Phillips from Huddersfield. I include a bunch of the neighboring deck names so you can see the company Statfijak is keeping. I have no reason to believe that they are not printing this deck or a variation so I am hopeful Huddersfield will have its own Keyforge deck. Peace, Richard Garfield. Great news, lads. We've done it. Huddersfield is finally going to be in a board game. I hate to point it out, but it says Huddersfield. It's missing the S. Bugger. <sighs>